This tutorial series is converting an existing template into a Joomla template and the example we're going to be using is called Curiously Green Template and it's supplied by Node33.com and it's an open source template that you can download from Node33.com and we're going to be using this as our example and we're going to be converting things like for instance up here we're going to make this dynamic the site title and our menu links which we can control in Joomla we're going to be converting into this type of a look and basically this whole thing is going to be converting into Joomla and the first item on the list is getting the structure right so using somebody else's template sometimes they use their own thing or do their own thing and in Joomla there's specific structure that needs to be laid down like for instance the CSS file is in the same folder as our index file well we're gonna to need to change that so let's create a folder because Joomla needs a folder for CSS. Let's move that over there. And this has to specifically be called template underscore CSS. And the next thing is we need to convert this index.html to .php. So I already have it open. Let's save it as index.php. Save it and we don't need this one anymore so let's go ahead and delete that and you'll notice that when we moved our CSS file we lost all our styling for this so if I go into the code you can see our link to our style sheet is default CSS well actually now it's CSS forward slash template underscore CSS because that's what we named it And of course in Dreamweaver you can click on the link over here and find it that way too. And link it that way. But I went ahead and typed it out for you. And you'll notice some things that happen. Actually let me go ahead and preview this. And you'll notice some things. You'll notice some of my images are gone. Well what happened to them? Well it's because we moved everything. Our CSS file now is no longer relative. So we can go into our template CSS file and you can kind of just scroll through and anytime you see an images dot dot forward because we need to go down a directory because the CSS file is in its own directory now so it has to be relative save that out and let's go ahead and preview this again and there we go all our images are back where they should be and we have the structure for our Joomla template 